Hey and welcome to this mini series about the teleprompter app IQ. If this is the first video that you're watching, make sure to check out the whole playlist with all the videos. It's linked up on the top right corner. And now let's jump into the main menu. Let's start with the prompter tab and you can set the scroll speed of your text right here. And then you have a timer, you can either set it to up so it counts basically the entire time that you're recording or you can say this talk shouldn't be longer than let's say 15 minutes and then set and then it will count down the 15 minutes. Next is next is the guide and the guide is this guy here on the side, this triangle. It helps you to know where you are right now and you can set also the opac opacity and the offset, which is great. So you're putting it where your eyes should be in terms of looking straight into the lens. And you can set different styles. You can say a bar, which would be something like this, or the marker that we just looked at or inverted. So you're just seeing that stuff. And obviously now the opac opacity is so extreme. You can put it like, this and then it's easier, right? Something like this. Or you can have two lines, which I don't like. So I, I like the marker, the triangle. Moving on. Oh yeah, and you can set the color of that triangle. You can say it's, I don't know, something like this. And it would look something like this right there. But I think the highest contrast, so black and white is always the best for a teleprompter. And then one of the most important features obviously is you have to flip it horizontally. So on a teleprompter screen, the text is actually up and right, right? So if you would put this into the teleprompter, the parrot, now the, the text on the screen would look normal, not on the iPhone screen though. And you can choose to do that either horizontally or vertically. But that's easy to see once you put it into your teleprompter, then you will know what to click because once the font looks normal, the text, then you're perfect. And next is the controller. You can position it on the top or on the bottom. I would always have it on the bottom in any case. I don't want to see the status bar. That's what I don't want to see because that's the iPhone bar and that's not necessary. So now that we have set that and sorry if that was slightly confusing, but I'm sure if you try this out, you will see what to do. Uh, disable deceleration. That would be probably like, um, it starts immediately and it stops right there. It's kind of the, the text slowing down. I would assume once it comes to an end and use global settings, puts everything back to factory settings, which I just did, and it just screwed up everything. So it basically resets everything that we just set. That's the end for this video, but the series continues. So just click on the next video about this app. And more importantly, click on the box that's appearing magically right now to get my free tutorial on how I write my scripts on the computer and how I transfer them to this app. If you like the app, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any other app recommendation or if you found out anything else about this app, please comment. I'm always happy to hear from you. Take care and see you the next time.